Oh, fuck. I forgot I gotta make sod content. Oh. Oh, God. I'm so tired. Guys, just give me a moment. I'll be right there with... Oh, oh. I think I broke my back. Hey. Hey, don't worry about that. I just I just woke up, all right? It was a little cat nap. You settle the fuck down right now. Do I have a water bottle? I do. Brought to you by Poland Spring. One of the only sponsors. Actually, no shot. It's not a sponsor. We're not that big. Settle the fuck down right now before everybody gets shot. Everybody's moving on to Cata. Everyone's playing Mop Remix. People are playing other games. And I'm over here making side content. We stayed through the thick and hell with it. Yeah, we're in the dark times and dark ages. It's not the most booming thing ever, but we ride out with it, all right? And if we're going to ride this crashing ship down into the into the graveyard, we're crashing together, brothers and sisters. So much love to ya. Oh, damn, this is a tightly sealed bottle. What the fuck kind of potion is this? Oh, yes. It tastes like phase four when this game's alive again. Good times indeed. However, though, oh, what a, give me off my knees. What kind of video is this? Settle down. Locking in. I know you guys are bricked up in the comments. Don't piss me off. You all get shot. Editor, settle down. I like what you're doing right there. Transition it out to the full cam. Holy schmoly. Sorry about that, guys. That was a, that was a bit of a doozy. And also, before we even continue the video, much thanks to Raw uh, down below for the link of Rested XP. If you guys want a quest and guide and learn how to, you know, speed your process up through Season of Discovery or Kata or whatever expansion you're playing, check them out. I appreciate it. It supports the boy. It supports the channel. And that's all I got to say about that. However, on to the video portion of this VOD. I can't even breathe right now. Editor, I need three bags. Maybe uh, one of those breathing bags, a brown bag you find in New York somewhere because I'm about to throw up. However, um... What am I talking about? We're a little lost with this video. Um, yeah, so Season of Discovery, kind of a, a dire time, so to say. But there is things that I want to discuss with you guys overall. And uh, I actually have something special here that we're going to do today. Oh, and I'm already doing it wrong. The video's already messed up. Editor, cut it in. Or, or keep it out. Lock it in, sir. I'll shoot you. I said what I said. In Minecraft YouTube, family-friendly channel. Still can't breathe. Need to do a push-up. But... We're walking on our Horde character today. I was like, you know what? Let's change the pace. Look at the dude with the little hat on. Much love to him. The Soul Link lock in PvP. OP, by the way. Love it. Even though it's a little busted. But it is what it is. Much love to it. But a very fun build to do. Uh, I tested out Affliction. I've done Destruction with it uh, as well. But I like Soul Link. I think Soul Link is pretty badass overall. I have a lot of survivability, which I really like about this class in general. But what I want to talk about today is a couple things coming with the future of Phase 4 in general. Why is there a dead warthog there? A little boar? Poor buddy. He never knew it was coming. That is Season of Discovery right there. In a nutshell. Yeah. Anywho. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that was coincidence. That was pure coincidence. So, what I was trying to get at is basically, um... You know, where are we going to be going with Season of Discovery? And a couple ideas that I had in mind to talk about, you know. Uh, because, you know, as we know, we have a couple of weeks, maybe even a month or so before we get, you know, any, you know, further um, details with the release of Phase 4. Now, I'm going to guess right now that we maybe get something mid-halfway mid through June. Then maybe some discussion possibly with the PTR and then the actual release probably come the first week or two of July. I'm guessing it's going to be that long in my personal opinion because we have a lot to deal with on our plate right now. We have, you know, um, you know, Miss of Pandaria with the remix, which that will be a video we will be coming out with soon in the next couple days. We have, uh, you know, Cata, which I have had a lot of people say, yo, Tello, you should play Cata considering it but not too sure if i want to get super burnt out obviously d4 and a couple other things that we have in mind also on a side note not wow related next month elden ring dlc comes out what is my dude doing i have no idea don't even ask me this dude's a paid editor and he's setting me up but yes we have elden ring coming out next month which is something i look forward to play on stream by the way if you haven't already twitch tv hello jtello check me out over there on wednesday saturdays and sundays when your boy is streaming between those time frames um and when we might be able streaming uh elden ring next month the dlc you damn right we're gonna be doing that so come see my ass get whooped for sure back to the video so 
about Season of Discovery. With uh, next month, there's something that I want to see happen, or the next phase. There's something I want to see ex explicitly happen. I can't even fucking speak right now. Editor, get the line straight. I want to see something good happen with a lot of the content next month. I feel like there's a lot of things we could possibly see with, you know, Ashenvale. If they decide to tune things up for Ashenvale to change how it works over there. Maybe spice up the different styles of you know the game mode that is there and maybe give us something new or are there decisions to basically just leave it in the past and they just did it and that's what Ashenville will always be i'm very curious to see if they're going to improve upon this because i really feel like the content that you have within sod is you know something that you can always work upon and build upon after that and always spice it up if you decide not to come out with any other style of pvp events i think Ashenville in the beginning phase one you know when we didn't know what was going on was kind of you know a good time because like it was pretty you know we were all curious and when you're curious you know you're you're having fun through your curiosity and you're like oh wow like i've never explored this area you know i never done this with you know a whole bunch of people and we're all going in like a big zerg and you know we're clashing against each other the horde and the alliance so it was a really good time this is a paid man setting me up right here he has no idea what's going on get him out of here but in general though uh i'm really interested in blizzard's motives with Asherville in general and i really hope that we see something if we don't it is what it is we're living on copium all good if they decide to leave Asherville in the past and that's what they just made it for in phase one then it looks like it's all over with you know what i mean and yeah maybe they've made notices about well we did Asherville already and we're over and done with it we left that for phase one then fuck it you know what i mean well we won't see nothing which is unfortunate now continuing on to the next conversation is about stranglethorn veil vale. stv in the beginning, we've already had this conversation where it was really good in the beginning. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it was really good. It was a good idea in the beginning. Um, but then people played it and it had its layering issues and people had a lot of, you know, lag. And sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Then it was getting, you know, basically... Uh, manipulated by like you know obviously like a lot of mages who you know took advantage of it to use like you know all the big arcane blasts by the statues and now a lot of other classes fast forward all the way into phase three have different ways of racking up a shit ton of coins just in general by statues and etc right uh by the you know the shrine statues where you hand in the blood of the loa overall though the the quality of stv from you know fa the, for the phase it came out then obviously you know uh, having it out again and it just being an event where you just get new materials and they just upgraded the vendor hasn't been really amazing in my opinion i feel like the quality of it has been a big letdown for me personally uh because i i genuinely think that stv could have been so much more and i really wonder if they're only going to keep stv just for something that is you would just go to like get new stuff from a vendor and just do the event in general and they would never spice it up like i'm talking about maybe having you know other style of bosses within that event or a different style of like you know uh, base points or capturing things i don't know how they would go about it but i would like to see some new uh innovative ways to approach stv in general and here here's the thing right i'm gonna be honest with you once again, if they decide not to even touch STV and give Ashenvale the same treatment like they're going to do with STV event, then once again, I just have to say, fuck it. It is what it is. We got to bite the bullet, move on with our life, and hope for something else. And this leads me into my next topic. Um, what are they going to possibly do with just PvP events in the future? Now, I know you guys already said that they're not going to do anything, and they're not going to hint towards anything else. But for example, in Nightmare Incursions, we obviously saw that PvP happens in Nightmare Incursions, and depending on your server, either the Alliance are totally not uh, friendly with you guys, or the Horde is not totally friendly with you guys, and you will get killed and camped within Nightmare Incursions. Therefore, it leads to a lot of people not wanting to even step into a Nightmare Incursion. So I'm very very curious to see if they're going to do anything with you know further events that are mainly pve oriented or just like do uh pvp within those events that are even though they're pvp or pve oriented and like you know mainly it's just to do pve hand-ins or maybe talk to a vendor or, or do quests like it was with nightmare incursions but it's going to have pvp attributes where people can actually you know mess you up within these zones so depending on what new zone what new you know quests uh or sorts of quests or activity that they have planned for next phase is really going to affect how people feel about the new content that comes out within phase four if you get what i'm saying like that that's all i'm basically getting at is that 
I'm very curious on what their goal is for the next kind of style of incursion if it's going to even be an incursion a continuation of incursions or something else that we've yet to see before and we are completely unaware about now to continue on that topic of nightmare incursions so with nightmare incursions i feel like right now especially with you know this phase in general the ball for nightmare incursions has been really dropped now i think for some people they liked it a lot for other people, they didn't like it whatsoever. They thought it was, you know, a waste of time. It ruined the economy, etc. For other people, they were like, well, this was a great level up method rather than just doing dungeons. And other people's opinions, they're like, yeah, but if you didn't do dungeons, it takes the love out of the world. And obviously, you want to, you know, do dungeons, go through the world in general and explore Azeroth, right? And play World of Warcraft and not just stay within one area. Um, either way, how you look at it, I would say this, right? I think Nightmare Incursions definitely could have been improved upon. It was It's a good idea, but obviously has its flaws and can be perfected even better by the developers. And I'm very interested to see what exactly their approach is going to be next phase if we're even going to get further Incursions, if that's the ordeal. Because I, I don't know if they're going to do Incursions again. Because what are they going to do with Incursions when most of us already hit Exalted? I don't know about you guys, but on my Paladin, I didn't do it on my Warlock yet, but I'm already exalted with Nightmare Incursions. I'm already done with that. So I don't see myself really going for more Nightmare Incursions again on another character. I just don't see the point unless there was a continuation of Nightmare Incursions or they decide to update the loot pools like they did with Stranglethorn Veil vale in the PvP mode within the exalted rep vendors for the Nightmare Incursions. So I don't know how they're going to handle that. And what their approach is with that. And I also don't know what their approach is with the commerce supply for the logistics where you hand in, you know, the, the care packages basically for, you know, like the, the bags and everything at the vendors at each, you know, alliance and horde locations, which is another topic of discussion we can talk about right now. What are they going to do with that? Are they just going to update the vendors once again, next phase, and that's it? And then when each phase comes out, is there plan only to just update all the vendors every phase to give them new goodies for people that already hit max rep with all these things because i feel like even though that is cool and i don't mind that i feel like it's a little lazy in my opinion like i feel like i want to see new things and i think us as the player base would appreciate new things new areas unused assets or whatever you know you know innovative game you know breaking in a good way not in a bad way but like mind-blowing activity to do that makes sod extremely fun you know what i'm saying uh i i just don't know what's the route and what their you know their battle plans are when it comes to you know the next phase in general for world of warcraft and that leads me to discuss you know the next topic here what are we going to be leading into and what do we have to expect come next phase obviously you know we have much discussion with like molten core you know with the 20 man and anixia followed by their own words saying that a couple weeks later uh, later we're going to be getting bwl um and then obviously zolgarub you know so i'm i'm very curious to see how the release of that's going to happen because i think to be honest we need some time with you know molten core and anixia we're going to especially mc right because there's a lot of great materials even people after clearing mc their first week they're going to want to go in there for multiple weeks to get a lot of stuff and especially if you're farming for like legendaries and stuff you're gonna want to be doing mc for a while so i don't know how i feel about it coming out a few weeks right after mc and you know nixie is there or raid ready so to say so i'm very curious about that and i'm also curious about like the quest line the events um how, how they're handling any attunements etc um and any type of new content surrounding these following uh you know raids that we all know and love so i'm very intrigued to see where are they going to take the turn that changes the tide for us as world of warcraft players to be like wow you know what that's a really good idea blizzard and i like what you're doing right there because that's what we want to have we want to have that type of reaction instead of the reaction saying this fucking company sucks but we don't want to say that right we want to we want to be on team blizzard because we enjoy the game but for a lot of people that's how they feel over there they're that guy right there i was just talking about settle down and lock it in that's not me settle down However, though, I will say when Blizzard's doing wrong, we got to knock them for doing wrong. And I always mention that in my videos, no matter what. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm curious to see if what, what they're going to add as far as, you know, um, you know, a, 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 a new type of possible zone or maybe a portal 
or something that involves, you know, the raids in general that just takes us somewhere else, maybe hidden within Azeroth, etc. I know this is a lot of theory crafting right now and mainly just like, you know, putting on the tinfoil hat, you know, and getting the aluminum foil out. But I'm just talking because like I'm very excited for next phase i feel like in general yeah you know right now at the current state of sod which we can i guess time stamp this part here is that you know there's really not obviously anything to do we're just playing the game just to play the game maybe you're leveling up your professions maybe you're you know maxing out certain um whatever you know like uh things for phase four you know maybe you're, you're pre-planning so to say uh, and you're doing whatever you can within the game right now and maybe you're just doing pvp i know me what i'm just doing on sod is i just do pvp straight up there's really nothing else to do i, I enjoy pvp in you know classic so like i i really enjoy doing that for the most part but there's really not a lot to do now some people be like oh well you can farm your daggers a warlock of course do fell pores and stuff like that i get that part but i'm talking realistically in the grand scheme of things there's obviously everyone feels like at this point it is really on a downhill you know with season of discovery right now which is the truth it genuinely is um it just right now there's just a dry time to be especially a sod content creator for me you know mainly my channel is you know surrounded by season of discovery and i love this game no matter what and i'm still gonna be making content on it throughout the month no matter what you know jay tello i won't stop making content i could talk about anything and i can make a whole fucking 30 minute video of just discuss it so don't worry sod content ain't going nowhere but i will say that it is a a, a very dire time and I do understand why a lot of players right now are just taking a break and playing other games. And maybe this is a perfect time for you to take a break and play another game as well and try something out. And, you know, summer's around the corner, so you don't need to be stressing yourself out. Uh, Blizzard obviously made a lot of versions of WoW right now for a lot of people to play. And there's a lot of other games coming out as well. Um, and in the meantime, WoW will always be there is what I'm, what I'm looking at as well. You know, Phase 4, when it does come, I honestly have a feeling Phase 4 is going to knock it out the ballpark. And I hope it does. Yes, you could say it's the copium, it's the hopium kicking in, you know, dead game, all the typical comments that I see in the chat, no problem. But I have a strong feeling that they are cooking in the kitchen and there's a lot of spices being used and we're going to get something really spicy and everybody's going to come back and they're going to say phase four hype, you know, and it's going to be souped. It's going to be, you know, all time to the highest, you know, realm of, you know, gaming we've seen in a minute when it comes to season of discovery since like phase one to my in my opinion i think phase four is going to be that big i think it's going to reignite an, uh, a light under a lot of people's asses that they haven't had in a long time and that's something i'm really excited for um but besides that though in general yeah that's really uh the point of the entire video today is to talk about like you know things i want to see as far as like you know pvp if they're going to update their events um see what kind of new areas and new zones and new quest lines they're going to do i also curious on how they're going to handle like you know uh quest lines for like legendaries if they ever decide to go down that route um and if they're going to plan on, you know, how they said a couple of weeks from BWL to, you know, Molten Core, it, how much weeks is that really going to be? Is it going to be a month or is it like two to three weeks? Because that might be too quick for some people. Uh, and I'm also curious about any general uh, quality of life update change as far as terms of, you know, maybe adding guild banks to the game. I think that's something that a lot of guilds would love to see is like a guild bank where, you know, we could all participate. I think that's something that's never really been an issue at all within World of Warcraft having a guild bank for a lot of people would be really cool and just a nice little quality of life update i would genuinely like to see that i think that's really a big problem it doesn't affect anything really at all in the grand scheme of it whatsoever if you have a, a bunch of cool friends and then you all want to share a guild bank no problem um i think another thing too is i'm really curious about which i didn't talk about is the the ptr getting in there and getting the ability to test things out and you best believe when that ptr comes out your boy will be streaming we'll probably be doing a stream marathon i might be streaming the whole freaking ptr will go to sleep with the stream on and we won't close the stream off until the ptr is done so if any other content creators doing that let me know if not then it's the one and only right here baby j mother freaking tello lock it in however um but besides that one back up you will get shot in minecraft yeah 
Um, I'm really much looking forward to everything. I think it's going to be a blast of a time. It's going to be a good time in general just to be playing Season of Discovery. And um, looking forward to trying all you know the, the classes out that I love, like Warlock and Paladin at the moment, and seeing what they all have to offer. Um, going to be good, good times, good moments in, in the future of Saw to come. And I'm very happy uh, with, you know, the the amount of things that are happening right now, just in general from Blizzard. You know, I'm playing Mop, and I'm sure we'll have that video coming out soon, talking about my experience with, you know, Mop overall. Um, why is my fell guard on my ass like that? We'll never know. However, though, guys, that is basically the end of the video. Just a little, you know, quick update for you. You know, see what you guys think about my opinions. See what you guys think about, you know, the stuff I'm talking about. Picking up what I'm putting down in general. But that's about it. I've been rambling on. Apologize if I if I stumble upon my words or if I uh, repeat myself. Also, on a side note, real quick, a little bit serious Motello here. I do notice that some people lately have um, been coming in the comments. I, I, I've noticed, and I'm not going to ever comment on this again. But do realize any um, sponsors or people that want to endorse the channel and give me an opportunity to, you know, be an affiliate with something. You know, I don't ever ask for people to use these links or ever people to force you to do anything. Let alone do I even force you to subscribe to the channel or even like the video. I just uh, like when people... You know, comment on the video and enjoy conversations with one, one, you know, one another. I'm over here fucking stuttering again. Lock it in. I know. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. You know, at the end of the day, um, if I can live in a, in a world of World of Warcraft where there was just straight up no add-ons and we would just play the game and play the game as it is, good old, you know, vanilla style um, with nothing to use, I would love that. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, and your boy has to make a living with something, uh, you know. And if I get a hit up, I get a hit up, you know. But I would never shell out for something that I do not like and I don't support. And I would never, you know, be that type of guy. So I just want to let you know, what you see here is what you get. And you're always going to get the real tello here on stream, on Twitch TV, here on YouTube. Wherever you see it, you're going to fucking get that. So much love to you. I hope you guys have a good day. And I appreciate you all coming to the channel as always. Lock it in as usual. Settle down for the Hydration Nation. And uh, if you watch this video all the way through, say much love to you in the comments. Much love to you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I gotta take the biggest shit of my life. It's like a giant log coming out of my ass.